वेलकम बैक टू क्लास सेवन मैथमेटिक्स क्लासेस वी आर इन एक्सरसाइज सेवन ए रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन टुडे वी आर डूइंग क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन नाउ हेयर वी हैव टू डिवाइड रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एमोंग A, B, C says that A gets five by six of what B gets. Try to understand the question and the ratio between the shares okay of b and c is given as 3 is to 4 now divide this amount among a b c such that a gets 5 by 6 of what b gets suppose a gets x then b gets how much 5 by 6 of what oh sorry here suppose a gets 5 by 6 of what b gets so a is getting 5 by 6 of what b gets suppose b is getting x then a gets 5 by 6 of x okay and another condition is the ratio between shares of b and c b is to c is 3 is to 4 so now first we have to find a is to b with these two given things okay and then this is given as b is to c Okay, let us do solution given in the question is ratio of B is to C as 3 is to 4 and again it is given that A gets 5 by 6 of B isn't it so here b is 3 is or no so that is a gets a gets is equals to 5 by 6 of b is how much here 3 so 3 here isn't it 3 1 zero, 3 2 zero. so this is 5 by 2 now the ratio is therefore the ratio will be ratio will be a is to b is to c will be equal to a is 5 by 2 and b is 3 and c is 4 now we have to simplify it okay this ratio we have to simplify it because here is a fraction so the lcm we have to find 2 is here here in the denominator 1 is there here also in the denominator 1 is there so the LCM of 2, 1 and 1 will be 2. Okay. With that LCM we have to multiply each of this to make it simple. Okay. 5 by 2 into 2, 3 into 3 into 2, 4 into 2. This 2 and 2 getting cancelled. This is 5 is to 3 to the 6 is to 4 to the 8. Now this is in simple form. Next step is what? Sum of ratio in this step we will add this 3 5 plus 6 plus 8 how much we are getting we will get 19 ok now again what is given the total amount is given that is 760 that we have to divide so total money is equals to how much rupees 760 and we have to find the shares of each therefore a gets how much 5 by 19 5 by 19 into 760 now cancel it 19 1s 19 4s and 19 19 40s are 760 40 into 5 is how much rupees 200 okay Look at here, it was not 
coming in the camera so here I was here sum of ratio okay this sim simplified form 5 is to 6 is to 8 sum of ratio 5 plus 6 plus 8 we got 19 total money given in the question is 760 so we are finding the shares a gets 5 by 19 into 760 so here we are getting 19 ones are 19 40 times 760 40 into 5 is rupees 200 so this way a gets rupees 200 now the share of b the shares of b shares of b b gets is equals to 6 is the ratio of b and sum of ratio is 19 into total money is 760 19 ones are 19 40s are 760s 40 into 6 is how much 200 40 this calculation you can revise of your own okay and c c gets how much c gets 8 is the ratio and 19 is the sum of ratio again this calculation you can skip and you can directly multiply by this 40 to each of the ratio okay 40 into 8 is rupees 8 was 32 320 okay so we have found all these ratio uh, all these shares i mean all these shares of this a b c okay next number is question number 12 the boys and girls in a school are in the ratio 8 is to 3 if the number of girls is 405 question is how many boys are there in the school okay so solution boys and girls ratio is given 8 is to 3 and the number of girls given okay so let us write in this way according to position boys is to girls given as 8 is to 3 okay and it is given that number of girls number of girls given as 405 and it is asked to find the number of boys so let it be x okay now this one we can write boys this ratio boys is to girls will be equal to x is to 405 isn't it so 8 by 3 okay you can write here 8 by 3 is equals to x by 405 okay because this is the uh, ratio in simple form okay this is the simplest form now actual number of girls are 405 then what is the actual number of boys okay so we can find here by calculating x so x is here only this 405 will go this side and it will multiply 8 cross multiplication 8 into 405 by 3 okay so 3 ones are 3 ones are and 135 we are getting here 135 into 8 is how much we are getting 1080 this x we can write this side also so therefore therefore the number of boys in the school is equal to how much 1080 okay question number 13 an alloy alloy contains copper and zinc 
in the ratio 7 is to 3 if it contains 12 is to 12 decimal 6 gram 12.6 gram of copper how much does this alloy weigh so what is alloy at first okay alloy is a mixture of two or more elements like copper and zinc elements are present in this alloy and in this ratio that is 7 is to 3 if copper is 7 then zinc is 3 okay in this alloy 7 is to 3 as you know ratio do not have any units so by only number we can uh, we can just imagine okay how much is there copper and zinc 7 is copper and 3 is zinc okay but it is said that 12.6 gram of copper is there in the alloy then according to this ratio how much does this alloy weight so first of all we have to find the weight of the zinc okay copper is given we have to find the weight of the zinc and then we'll add that weight of the zinc plus this given weight of the copper that will be the weight of the alloy yes or no now solution solution given as according to question the ratio is given as copper is to zinc 7 is to 3 okay and the weight of the copper is given as 12.6 and zinc we don't know so we have to find okay so now this will be equal to as 7 by 3 is equals to 12.6 by x let us find x x let us bring this side okay this 3 goes that side and it will multiply the numerator the 7 comes this side and goes to denominator yes or no now 7 1 and here also 7 1 7 8 times 56 okay so 1.8 into 3 is how much 5.4 gram so zinc we got as therefore zinc is how much here zinc is 5.4 gram now the total weight of the alloy will be the sum of these two alloy weight is equals to 5.4 gram plus it's given here 12.6 gram 12.6 gram so when we add we'll get 18 gram okay the alloy weight is 18 gram for today this much only in my next video class i'll come with rest of the questions thank you